like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars the official way to know god is in the midst of pain and challenges write it down <laughs> oh. pray in the spirit while you are writing it because some of you will not agree just you just write it and let god help us to be mature treasure of my heart and of my soul keep writing and just listen to me listen to this part in my weakness you are merciful you don't need mercy until your weakness is revealed remember i told you how to meet god above the mercy seat situations in your life must hit you and bring you to a point where you acknowledge that i am weak that's the only condition for the mercy of God to work for you. Listen, you will never encounter God if you don't encounter his mercy. The mercy of God never comes to people who are still sufficient in themselves. So God will allow orchestrations around your life to beat down your pride until you come to a point where you say, Lord, I'm anointed, but this one is more than my power. And God says, you are inviting my mercy. Let me show you how people know God in this kingdom. I'm a man of God. You will never know him that way. The first time he appeared to Jacob, Jacob was a man of God with no challenges. And God said, no, you can't know me this way. And he allowed him. He went to the house of Laban and suffered and was defrauded. Jacob cried and asked questions. By the time God will appear again, he was broken enough to have that encounter. The Bible says, blessed are they that hunger and thirst. You won't believe that I've not even started my message. We'll just leave it and continue tomorrow. But I just want to show you one key tonight. Don't waste your pain. You are wasting an opportunity to know God. Don't waste your disappointment. We live in a kingdom where many people say, if you know God, why is this happening to you? Tell them to keep quiet. There is an irrefutable spiritual system designed for saints to become men of power. Listen, no one encounters power without power. The way to the throne is the cross. You will never arrive the throne jumping the cross. I wish I can tell you, you will just receive an impartation and laugh and go. No. Those situations will break your pride. You will sit at a point where you, your only prayer is your tears. It's only your tears that will be able to speak to God. It's not lack of spirituality. Jesus got there. On his way to the cross, he passed through Gethsemane. Your Jesus. Your Jesus. As I'm talking, some of you now are already seeing that so what is happening in my life i thought it was because i was backsliding men of god told me i don't love god i, I was surprised all of a sudden the carryover just came I i'm an anointed man all of a sudden my membership just reduced the more i'm praying all of a sudden the gentleman said he will not marry me i have kept myself what is the handwriting on the wall i came to interpret it to you god is luring you he wants to introduce his mercy but his mercy will never never come to people who are sufficient in themselves treasure of my heart and of my soul listen very carefully it's in my weakness you are merciful when you pass through that you will not open your mouth to criticize any man because you know that we are all products of god's mercy ah. redeemer of my past and present wrong you're the holder of my future days to come listen there was a time in my life i fasted i prayed no open door no breakthrough no, ah, come on don't let anybody lie to you that you just ask every man of god who is honest with you they will tell you that the anointing only comes on scars the anointing doesn't come on fresh skin there must be a scar a testament of endurance in the spirit he said let no man trouble me i have my scars i didn't jump classes in the spirit listen 
you are listening to me right now everywhere you are writing a name of god through your pain there is something you have gone through and god is saying don't waste it i will be glorified in this when you pass through it in that experience listen you see there are let me have let me have one young lady come here please let me just you anybody please come quickly anyone choir you are not a lady now gentleman come come can you come up this lady can be apologize if you are somebody's wife just an example are we together now watch this this young lady is easy for her to come to church and they say god is faithful god is mighty there is no her experience has not captured the need for that revelation her life is too innocent to understand that dimension she's never been disappointed they've always paid school fees for her everything has been rosy so when they say let's cry for message oh god pastor don't waste our time and god says don't worry there is already a curriculum that will force her to need that sermon you continue to walk one day she enters a relationship with a gentleman and all of a sudden she turns to young ladies and says, ah, this thing is so easy what are you praying for a life partner for like this keep going one day when she has announced to everybody that she wants to get married then the gentleman says i'm not doing again and you allow the lady all of the supposed shame and embarrassment brings her to the point where she will now join you to sing that song now she has an experience that forces her to need the mercy of god the mercy of god is not for sinners it's not just an attribute when you have seen maybe like done something wrong the mercy of god is the system that authorizes his presence to meet you i'm showing you remember we are discussing exodus 25 that it is above if the mercy seat is not there i am not there if your life is too innocent of an experience that needs me you will not find me treasure of my heart and of my soul it's in my weakness you are merciful hallelujah so this lady comes to a point where she's broken ordinarily when she comes to church to kneel down and worship she's one ah, there's a guy looking at me somewhere you are too alive for the mercy of god but there is a way that she will return for service that night unusually early number one that's a sign that mercy is about to come number two they raise a song that has nothing to do with kneeling down and the lady is already crying and rolling and you want to quickly touch her god says don't you dare touch her leave her it is that condition i'm looking for there is a name for it it's called a broken and a contrite spirit it's a posture in the spirit that cries for help from heaven are we together and the lady comes and says lord I know that I'm beautiful, but now I have a confession. Every time they say a man can receive nothing except it is given, the truth is I never believed it because I knew that my beauty was something to write home about. But right now, in sincerity, I acknowledge that you are the giver of everything. My encounter through pain has revealed to me that the race is not to the swift and the battle is. Um, you are no longer reciting scripture, your life is writing something about god tomorrow when this lady is counseling another proud young lady who will not listen she will tell her my dear am i ugly she says no ma say sit down let me give you a story in 1971 i was not always this humble i used to make noise just like you but something happened to me some of you it is because of your pain that you came for this meeting or the ordinary you will never come for this meeting yeah. it's in my weakness you are merciful have you ever had a challenge in your life that you sat down outside and not even mosquito could stop you 
that's what pain let me tell you those are useful experiences pastors let's be careful how we help people lest we rob people of an experience that should lead them to the mercy of god there are times that someone is so broke god is about to give him an encounter as jehovah jireh you want to quickly come and help him god says leave him this man will never believe that there is seed time and harvest because he has been receiving harvest from seeds he didn't sow so in his theology he believes that you are just making noise leave him i know my mother will send money for me in two weeks and one month nothing happens i know my other uncle will help me and you just say that the uncle has gone abroad i know that as soon as i graduate this uncle will help me and you hear that he has resigned then like jacob all that you have you must dismiss them he had to tell the wives i love you but now go you will interrupt my encounter all my cattle my possessions the bible says when he was alone do you know what it means for a man to be alone it means everything you put your strength and confidence on god brings you to a point where you know that they are wonderful but they are not as needed as him the jealousy of god will keep pushing everything that tries to be him in your life until you are left alone then he comes when he comes to you he comes in majesty when he comes he finds out the bible says before god would talk to jacob he touched his thigh the strongest tissue in a human body the strongest part and said jacob you are too sufficient from now you will need a rod that rod is christ i need to touch you so that without me you cannot balance again it's a state of inadequacy forever i need to create a vacuum that only me can fulfill in your life you don't need a rod and staff to comfort you when you are complete but now i touch you so that my rod and my staff they will comfort you hear me brothers and sisters when it is time to cry cry honorably because that cry is leading you to the mercy seat don't worry about those who will look at you man of god and say i knew you were not called if you are called should you be like this and the ego you are being stung you organized the miracle meeting nobody was healed the the angry people who came sick looked at you and said i will write a newspaper about you i've always been suspecting you had the guts to write healing waves i'm, I'm looking for a title waves of healing from heaven guaranteed and the people came and in that pain do you know it is in that pain you will sit down and start reading all the healing scriptures in the bible not to preach and say lord i have come to a point where i must get this thing for real all of a sudden the mercy seat is calling him calling him until then you are just reading you studied kenneth e higgins books oh yes yes and all that is stories you must have a track record when jacob was alone my time is up but we are going to pray listen carefully many of us have not met him because you are not alone you are with your money you are with your certificate you are with your wife you are with your uncle you are with the complimentary cards of those who can help you and god says those things are driving my face when you come to a point where you know that if god does not help me there is nothing I can do. You have captured my heart. Consume my heart with your love. You have captured my heart. Consume. hallelujah the mercy of god is not as cheap as many people make it sound just because his mercy does not need it, mean it is cheap there is a posture you must assume in the spirit for mercy to work for you god is speaking to someone here that in this conference you will find the anointing but the, god's assignment tonight is to circumcise us of our pride and everything that will not allow his mercy work in our lives oh i'll, I'll get I, I got a first class you don't worry a job is coming one uncle told me something and god said 
the race is not to the swift. There are people who graduated on their way going back home with their certificates. They died and were shredded into pieces. Many of us are ashamed of our pain. Many of us are ashamed of our stories. Can you allow your pain tonight to invite the mercies of God? Who taught you that great people don't cry? Who taught you? One of the four living creatures that reflect the glory of God in the throne is the face of a man. God made provision for the humanity of men to be captured in the throne room. Part of the Christian experience allows for your humanity to find expression. Jesus wept. Listen to me, I'm speaking to you. Jesus wept. It is okay to cry. Some of you, you are sitting down right now. There are things that have challenged you. And you have been taught that if you cry, you don't have faith. Let me teach you something. Your tears call his mercy. You get to a point where you say, Lord, if you don't help me, my ministry cannot rise. If you don't help me, I will never marry. If you don't help me, I will never have financial resources. Lord, I've come to a point where we can't build this church. It has remained at foundational level for 10 years. Because I've bragged all around that I'm a man of faith. And now I submit to you. You call his mercy. David was a man who mastered the mercy of God. You see, this David man is somebody we must study. God gave him an option. Whether to leave him in the hands of his enemies or to deal with him. God said, David said, my enemies, men, no way. I, let it be me and you. I know how to beg you. I know what to touch. Every time the nation of Israel were beside by different nations to kill them, every time it was obvious that defeat was imminent, they would raise a song. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Do you know that was not a special number, it was a formula. Every time three kings will come together and they will know we are dead. They say, Leave swords, gather the priests, let Judah move forward. We need to call on God's mercy, otherwise, they are going to finish us. And the moment they raise that song, for he is good and his mercy is endure, God will say, Now step back, let me fight. There are many cheap battles that we have allowed the devil to defeat us in because we have gone in the strength of the flesh. Many people are ashamed of the word mercy because when you say mercy, you think someone, you are asking because you fornicated with someone or you did something. I, I shouldn't ask mercy. I'm too matured for mercy. Ah, in today's world, when mercy is your rare God, his presence remains with you. They carried it every time. The ark. When they were going around Jericho, there was no way Jericho would go down. And God said, guys, I don't want to hear your voice now. Let the ark speak. Seven days the ark was speaking while men were quiet. At the seventh day, he said, the ark has one shout. One shout brought Jericho down. It is of the Lord's mercy it is of the Lord's mercy it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed above the mercy seat between the cherubims that's where you will find me if it is my face you are looking for I have a location when I search the earth I see men who are Christians but they, are, they don't assume that posture. They don't need my mercy. Their self-sufficiency receives my salvation but drives my mercy. So you are born again but you never can rise. This man standing before you is a product of the mercy of God. I know it. I'm not ashamed to say it. That's why you see him do the things that he does. When you look at me, you are looking at a man who God has shown mercy and grace. He said, thou shall arise and have mercy. I want to favor them, but favor cannot just come until mercy goes before it. So, oh God, arise and have mercy upon this family. 
Don't say we are tired. It's been witchcraft for 30 years. Who will break it? I know I'm a man of God. You will sit down there in pride and watch it happen as if you are not born again. But you invoke the mercy of God and watch what happens. And God looks at you and says, No one has risen in your family. I choose you. I hold your hand by myself. Let's go. And you will watch battles. The angel held the hand of Peter and the gate started opening by themselves. By themselves. Have you been blessed tonight? That there is a place we find God. That's what happened to Jacob. The first time God appeared, although God was in a place, Jacob's posture didn't allow him to benefit. And God had to allow him. Laban dealt with him. Seven years for a wife, Laban changed her in the night. He got up in the morning to find out that this was not the woman he paid dowry for. Started another seven years. He told Laban, please, let me go and have my own family. Laban refused. In that frustration, he left. Now Esau was going to come and he didn't know what would happen to him. That frustration led him when he was alone. God said, my mercy has been trailing you. Now I can come. Some of you, because of this message tonight, let me tell you, you will receive very strange visitations. God will tell some of you for 12 years, I've been waiting for you to hear this sermon. I would have blessed you since, but every time you stand, your sufficiency is in yourself. You will never arrive that way. Now step back and let me step in. The day I met the Lord, I had fasted and prayed and done all these things. I wasn't fasting that day. I can't remember praying anything. I was just lying down. But with a desperation. A desperation. I will teach you on hunger tomorrow. Desperation. And all of a sudden, Jesus walked into my room. I can't remember inviting him. I honestly can't remember. He walked to me. When people ask me today, what is the price to see Jesus? I'm, I'm, it's, it's a bit difficult to answer. I can't tell you there is no price, but I can also tell you there is a price. The price is the price to get his mercy to come your direction. That's the price. When the mercy of God, in fact, it is the price for everything in the kingdom. If the mercy of God can come towards your direction, brothers and sisters, you will see people. Do you know in the Bible, Many people did the same thing and God rebuked some and left some. <laughs> Aaron and Miriam insulted Moses. The glory of God came, left Miriam leprous as snow, and then nothing happened to Aaron. How about God? Your grandfather worshipped idols, my grandfather worshipped idols. And all of a sudden, God is lifting me as if they serve Jesus all over in our lives. And then he leaves you like this. The difference is mercy. You will never understand grace till you understand mercy. Most people who teach grace destroy people because they don't teach mercy. My life today, I repeat, is a testimony of his mercy.